Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Educate Yourself. Friends, in this tutorial we are going to talk about the venous drainage of the scalp. So friends, let's discuss. The veins of the scalp accompany the arteries and have similar names. The supratrochlear and supraorbital veins unite at the median angle of the eye forming the angular vein which continues down as a facial vein. As you can see here friends, this is the supraorbital vein over here and this is the supratrochlear vein they both combine and form an angular vein over here and the angular vein continues downward as a facial vein as you can see the superficial temporal vein which is here descends in front of the tragus enters the parotid gland and joins the maxillary vein you can see the maxillary vein over here to fall on the retromandibular vein so when the superficial temporal vein and the maxillary vein join, they form a retromandibular vein over here. This vein divides into two divisions. The retromandibular vein divides into two divisions. One is the anterior division here and the posterior division over here. So the superficial temporal vein mixes with the maxillary vein, continue as the retromandibular vein. So retromandibular vein divides into two veins. One is the anterior and one other one is the posterior vein. So the anterior one joins with the facial vein here. This anterior division of the retromandibular vein here, it combines with the facial vein. So they both together form a common facial vein. So the common facial vein drains into the internal jugular vein over here. The posterior division of the retromandibular vein it mixes with the posterior auricular vein over here so the posterior division of retromandibular vein and the ret and the posterior auricular branch they together form external jugular vein which drains into the subclavian vein and the suboccipital veins terminate in the suboccipital venous plexus Friends, uh, now talking about the emissary veins. Uh, emissary veins connected the extracranial veins with the intracranial venous sinuses to equalize the pressure. So, friends, these veins are the valvulus, and uh, the parietal emissary vein passes through the parietal foramen to enter the superior sagittal sinus. The mustoid emissary vein passes through the mustoid foramen to reach the sigmoid sinus. And one clinical point over here, uh, the extracranial infection may spread uh, through these veins uh, to intracranial venous sinuses. Hope friends you like my video, please don't forget to do comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.